You alright lads, this is the Geordie Jedi doing my next football review. Chelsea have had a decent season considering the quality of the opposition against them and also the trouble I've had to, throughout the whole season essentially, mainly the transfer windows. Now, they finished third. They didn't do a brilliant cup run. They did all right for themselves, but they have, but they didn't do anything stellar. And in the Champions League, they got the furthest out of all the English clubs. So they've had relatively a decent season. I, I personally, I'd say it was a good season myself to finish third, to do, to be probably the top English club in the Champions League, and to do all right in the cups. You know, right. Jose Mourinho, he's had a, he, as a manager, he's had a very good season. The reason why Chelsea are on first is, I don't, isn't his fault, I wouldn't say. I'd say it's mainly the higher-ups, because they couldn't bring in a good, good striker. Benzema, Higuain, Falcao. Falcao would be a pretty good buy if they could get him. They need... Someone like that. They brought in Samuel Eto'o, who is a good striker, but you know when you're top when you're top club fighting for the Premier League title itself, you need a tw at least one 20 plus goals a season. I mean Liverpool were lucky enough to have two. Man City were lucky enough to have nobody that scored over 20 goals, but someone but. A number of players that scored over 10. You know, they had loads of players that scored. Liverpool had two players that scored brilliantly and Chelsea didn't have either. The midfielders didn't score a massive amount of goals and the strikers certainly didn't score a massive amount of goals. They need a striker desperately. Now, personally, Falcao could be a possibility. Cavani is the real possibility. He's not happy at PSG because Abramovich is better than him. Personally, you can't argue with that. Abramovich is better than him. But Cavani is still far too good a player to be playing second fiddle to anyone. He needs to move on. Chelsea's perfect. They desperately need a brilliant striker. He desperately needs a big club. But that won't replace him. So, what... They have to do desperately is they have to win those games which they should win. The drill against West Brom. Granted there was a little bit of bother with the referee among other things, but it's Stanford Bridge you, sh Bridge, you should be getting all three points. Now Chelsea have done alright against the bigger clubs, they've beaten Man City, they've beaten the beat Liverpool, which is part of the reason why Liverpool lost the league. They beat a, a number of players. They've been Tottenham. So, unlike Liverpool, the big clubs aren't the problem. They can beat the big clubs for fun. Mourinho can outwit them easily. Personally, I think it's part. It's mainly the manager who's gotten them. Beat, who's beaten the big clubs. So good on them. But it's the smaller clubs. I mean, they lost. They lost against us. They did beat with um, four 0 but you know they lost two 0 against us. They've lost. Uh, they've lost against a number of the lower of the lower clubs. They need to start winning the games that are winnable, or they're winning the games that are obvious. Personally, it's a striker. They'll they'll play with a lone striker up front, which you can't be doing against the lower clubs, including ourselves. You can't be playing with one striker. E even if you're away, you should be playing with two. Now they tried to control possession with five midfielders. Granted, one of them was an attacking midfielder, but it does it doesn't work. One last thing which they desperately need is a right midfielder. They've got Hazard on the left, and they've got Schürrle on playing on the right now and again, even though he's a left midfielder. That's the problem, you know. The best right midfielder they have is Salah, who isn't who isn't good. He's young. He could be decent one day, but he's not that good right now. And he needs so he needs a, he needs experience, and Chelsea need a right midfielder. 
personally, probably Lovetti. I know he plays on the left, but he can play on the right. Pedro is also a decent option, as well as Sanchez from Barcelona. They can do all right. Di Maria isn't getting as many games thanks to Gareth Bale, so Di Maria is also a decent buy if you can get if they can get him. Anyways, this has been the Geordie Jedi. Leave a like if you want, subscribe if you want. May the force be with you.